Okay, as a quick follow-up to um, my look at galvanic corrosion on boats, I've just set up this little rig so that we can actually see what's going on. What we've got is we've got a silver spoon uh, connected by a piece of silver wire. Uh, you don't really need the silver wire, just a silver spoon or a silver plated, plated spoon. A um, nice little bit of canal water. Um, a 2 volt multimeter, and don't get me wrong, it's a pretty poor quality meter from China, so don't expect accurate results. And then the most important thing is, I have got some bolts and some nuts and some bits and bobs as we can see. So, what I've got here is I've got a um, stainless washer, stainless bolt, a um, little galvanized bolt, I'm trying to focus on that, where the galve is actually doing its work. So what it's actually doing is you can see that fluffy white stuff where it's actually um, doing its job, sorry it won't focus, um, uh, as an anode would do on a boat. And then we've got one here where it's pretty much the same thing, it's, it's, um, but it's in a bit, bit better condition. It's not, you know, there's no real rust, but the, um, all the coating is still there. And then a completely perfect galvanized um, nut. Uh, and then a really rusty bolt. So what we're really trying to show is, what, how can you tell how bad your boat is? For comparison, I've also got a bit of brass and stuff as well. Um, so what we're really trying to look at is to see, what, what would this actually show? So first of all, looking at this here, dip that in there. Copper gives you almost nothing. So we'll put the stainless on, and obviously stainless is pretty inert. So let's see, in that goes nothing. It moves a little as the copper goes in, but nothing. So let's just have a look at the real stuff. So let's go on and let's put this great big... Um, nut on it so there we go okay in that goes whoa there we go so that's going right up to close to 0.4 volts as i say these voltages should be a bit different but this is a very poor multimeter so um there we are so right look that's up near the 0.4 volts and that's a perfect galvanized never used nut so that's zinc all the way through okay so let's have a look at when the bolt is actually rusting. So what we're looking at is we're looking at when the hull of the, the, the you know of the ship is freely rusting. So here's our freely rusting bolt. In we go. For some reason we're getting poor contact today. Hang on. Sorry about this. In it goes and there we are we're getting uh, point it's fluctuating a bit but we're getting 0.15 of a volt something like that almost 0.2 of a volt that's freely rusting now we go back now to so what we've got is we've gone through perfectly protected completely unprotected now we're looking at these two this one I know it won't focus very well um, but you can actually see the white there where the, the um, the zinc is actually trying to protect the um, trying to protect the uh, the steel. So let's hook that one up and see what we get. So in we go, and we're looking, as you can see, pretty much 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 of a volt there. So that shows you the zinc is there and it's working, but it's um you know it's it's probably in that instance it's starting to reach the end of its abilities if you see what i mean right and one more uh similar sort of thing <coughs> pardon me similar thing the protection is pretty much there still and there we are that's just a little bit higher but you'd expect that because the corrosion the um the protection is a little bit um is a little bit better than the last bolt. And then if we go and look at things like, uh, for example, this bare steel, in it goes like that. And let's hook up to that. Um, we're getting, there again, we're up to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 
of a volt. So you can clearly tell that you can actually see from just a simple voltmeter what is actually going on. You can see what the rust situation is, you can see whether you've got protection, you can see what's happening. Now the other thing that I noticed was I had a little play with um, stray voltages um, to see how easy you could pick up whether there was a stray voltage going through the boat. So I should put a tripod really. So there we go, there's our semi-protected bolts just gone in. We're at 0.5 of a volt there. And we'll start having a little play with 1.5 volts of leak current. And very quickly, you can see, hang on, get the right way around. My camera skills, as you all know, are just superb. Um, get that in and you can see it brings immediately all that protection can be gone. So you can lose it just from, and this is just from a 1.5 volt leak current, 1.5 DC volt leak current, and there's no 1.5 supplies on a boat. They're all 12 volt or above. I was considering using, going and using the, um, the earth, um, the earth current uh, from the mains to see what kind of voltage the, uh, the earth current from the mains would be giving. Um, maybe I'll do that in a later video, but there you go. You can pretty much see that you can very clearly tell with a little two pound voltmeter off eBay and a silver spoon, you can watch and see what kind of uh, damage is happening to your hull. And you can reference it by using a spoon, a bowl of your own canal water and three or four nuts and bolts. There we are guys, hope that helps.